This is the technical difficulties. We are playing two of these people are lying because two of these people will be with me for the first time in a while. Chris Joel. Hello. Gary Brannan. It's Christmas! Isn't that great? It's November! <laughs> Don't give away the magic! I do. Oh, yeah, I yeah, do. because because four little bits of tinsel and two hats is, is a full I, magical yes. experience. I do like that we've, we're sided. There's Christmas over there. Yes. And well, there's, no, there's no Christmas and nothing over, over, here. over here, yeah. What we've come as is one of those winter wonderlands that fills the <laughs> newspapers with rage. I paid £39 for this. <laughs> there's no reindeer. The go-karts didn't. <laughs> <laughs> the three of us have found some articles on Wikipedia. We have put them inside these six envelopes, two each. Tom is going to pick one of these Wikipedia articles at random, and he's not going to know which one of us picked it. One of us knows what the article's about. Two of us will be making it up, and you might say, lying. And my job is to work out which two of them are lying and which one of them... Oh, he's picked one. ...has actually... <laughs> ...has actually chosen... The Feast of the Ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I already think it's Gary. I realise. What the fuck? I, I realise. No, if it was Gary, it'd say ass. It would. <laughs> Normally, Gary, I write yours down and then I put a dramatic line through you it. You do. In this case, I, I'm pretty sure it's you already, but we will, we will go round and we will start. Oh, because none of the other of us might choose one that might be a little rude and cause a little ripple of laughter around the table, would we? I've never been funny up to now. I don't see why I should start. <laughs> Matt, what is the Feast of the Ass? It is an oil painting. Oh. Now he feels the pinch, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Gary, what is <laughs> the Feast of the Ass? It is a medieval feast around about Christmas tide. All right. And Chris? It is a Sri Lankan celebration. A Sri Lankan celebration. Uh, I assume that's just a little chocolate that comes in a... In a... <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Tread lightly. Easy now. <laughs> right. Uh, I mean, we'll keep going in that order. Matt, it, it is an oil painting. Yeah. Tell me about the oil painting. It is a nativity scene, but um, the Artist who, for the life of me, I can't remember the name. It was Italian sounding and I can't remember what it was. It began with a G and I can't remember, sorry. Um, it's a nativity scene, but it's not from, you know, they're, they're all the same angle. You know, it's like crib in the middle with some wise men and the, all of that kind of stuff. This is like from the other side of the stable. You look confused. <laughs> I do. I'm still trying to think of an Italian painter with the first name G, and all I've got is Gaza. So yeah, that's, that's not really helpful. Gaza. <laughs> what, when he played for Lazio? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Gazzarelli. <laughs> I don't know why I got stuck on Gaza, but I got stuck on Gaza. There, <laughs> fake tits doing a painting of the nativity from behind. <laughs> what, what, sorry, where did the fake tits come from? Uh, usually a sex shop. Uh, I mean, Amazon, <laughs> if you want to get some. Um, no, he, it's, it's one of the great Gaza, one of the great Paul Gascoigne as a moments of our time when he came off the plane after Italia 90, maybe not in the semi-final, exited the plane wearing a pair of fake tits. Okay. Oh, right. It's the same point when someone said to him, have you any message for the people of Norway? He burped into the microphone and said, yes, f*** off Norway. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Mystery biscuit. <laughs> there's, there's only one person here with football knowledge. And that... <laughs> no, that's... Well, we've got some football knowledge yeah, now. Yeah, I know apparently. two things now. Now all of you have. <laughs> <laughs> I share it liberally like syphilis. <laughs> 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 oh. We're back. We're back. The Merry filter's Christmas. Not, we're back. <laughs> I've not quite got the filter back yet. I've not quite got the balance back. <laughs> I tell you what, the football knowledge does sting. <laughs> <laughs> Painting, Italian, name starts with a G, nativity scene. What do you mean by from the other side? So it's it's not a painting of some people it's the a painting of the animals and it's it's the in the center of the frame is a donkey an ass who is chowing down on some food some vegetables or you know it's like miscellaneous root vegetables or whatever it looked like and you can you can see that the generic weird little pink thing in a, in the manger in the front <laughs> <laughs> so it's like on the it's on the left hand side and it, it's kind of pointing towards the middle of the frame and then the right hand side of the frame in the distance, you can see the whole nativity stuff going on in the background. But that's not the focus of the, the, the painting. A, a non-traditional painting from, the, from the, the perspective of the forgotten parts of the nativity. All right. Yeah, okay. the animal's perspective. Gary, a yes. medieval feast. It is. It, well, now it's kind of after Christmas because of the change in 
dating, you know, adding days in and everything, losing eleven days. Um, yeah, and basically, it's it's it, it, a donkey is is brought into the church to celebrate the ride of the Virgin Mary on a on a donkey to the stable. It doesn't sound like something that the donkey would enjoy. How is it going to celebrate? <laughs> Little hat, cigar, <laughs> comedy glasses. <laughs> donkey with a cigar. <laughs> It loves it when a plan comes together. Meanwhile, outside in the van, four other donkeys, <laughs> one of, one of which does James. not want to get on the plate. <laughs> but he's currently drinking some milk. <laughs> B.A. but Asa. <laughs> anyway, 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 it's, it's a medieval festival. The, the donkey's brought in. Everyone celebrates the donkey. Um, there's some other jiggery poker where a priest uh, does impressions of apostles and stuff like that. <laughs> It's all part of the celebrations, hence why it's a medieval feast and not one that really got, you know, carried on through. But that's what it is. A donkey ridden into church by a child and everyone's Rid- Ridden into on. church by a child? A child? Well, I mean, it's only going in one way, isn't it? It's only going up the aisle. It's not like there's much scope for the kid to get it wrong. Surely it's just a passenger at that point. All right, so you're disputing the riding element of this. Okay, a donkey... He's ho- disputing it, not me. It's not even his job to dispute this, but... Uh, the donkey no, no, has no been... I'm just intrigued. I want to get a full what, picture of this in my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The donkey's been hauled up the middle of the church, I assume. <laughs> hauled? And now we've got an 18-wheeler. <laughs> Edgy Stobart <laughs> donkey division. God, that sounds like convoy. Still got the logo painted on, <laughs> on the side of the donkey. With donkey the name. Stobart. <laughs> It's the, it's hauled up with the child on it and then they do their feast celebration and then there's a bit where the priest does impressions of apostles hauling us hey! I'm out I'm out it took you a quarter of an episode yep, yep. <laughs> so, 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 so so hang on hang on when you say when you say medieval feast yes I'm not hearing much feasting be cut off the, do- the donkey gets a carrot. No, it's a there's feast a, there's day. A, there's a Swede. I don't... I, I, Gary, my, my knowledge of this... Is, you you are an expert in history. That's true, you live there. Yeah, but you have <laughs> over there. It's 1974, but you're right. <laughs> it's, it's not like they've got a big table out with all Mr. Kipling sandwiches and, and cakes and sandwiches for the That's donkey. That's what I thought by feast. No, I... it's a feast, like an ecclesiastical feast. You, it's, it's just another feast day. It'd be, it'd be a day... As in fest. As, as in, in festival. What, go, oh. festival. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So there's loads of them in the ecclesiastical camps. That's why you have red letter days because they were dates that were inked in in red in ecclesiastical calendars. That's when when you buy ridiculous dates. gifts like ballooning vouchers for Correct. people. Correct, these yes, days, yeah. yes. But in, well, in the past, that's what they did as well. They didn't invent balloons, so the vouchers didn't go very far, did they? <laughs> it's one balloon ride. <laughs> it's <a> f- <laughs> what? F***ing <laughs> balloon. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a feast. It's a it's a festival day. It's a feast day. It, when you you know when you might be in I don't know in a monastery or something, you might have better food that day rather than whatever it is you should be eating. It wouldn't take place on a Friday or something when you have fish. The gruel is spiced today. Hey, they ate well. They ate well anyway. But they'd eat even better on a day like that. Yeah. All right, uh, Chris. Sri Lankan celebration. Mine genuinely is a feast. Okay. Mine is it's like sort of like Gary's, but almost the opposite in that it genuinely is a feast and a party. Obviously, as sort of agriculture developed and life developed, you get an awful lot of animals used in service and things like that. So rather than a religious celebration, it's just a celebration of thanks for those animals. Oh, okay. And you just have a party. Obviously, as a mode of transport, the ass has fallen out of favour. It has, And it's drifted more towards the party end of affairs (laughs) now on a nice night in summer. Right, okay. Do people say thank you to their cars and tractors instead? I don't know, because at that point, you'd kind of kick in another festival. (laughs) It's not, it's certainly not mentioned in the article that it became the feast of the steam train and then the feast of the moped. And now it's Elder Goodwood. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) The feast of the Model T and the feast of the Scammel uh, Explorer. (laughs) The the, the Goodwood Feast of the Speed. Yeah. Yeah. Our Lord and Saviour. That's a red letter day in both senses, I believe. (laughs) Our Lord and Saviour sent (laughs) Jandir. It's pronounced Sinjin, I think you'll find. (laughs) Sinjin. (laughs) Jandir. Well, no one has anything here that I can immediately rule out. Um, The the oil painting, uh, it, it sounds like it would be notable enough to have an article if that's a thing. I mean, I still think that of the people around the table, most likely to want to write this on a Dymo <laughs> labeler, it's, it's Gary. I mean, uh, rude. Uh, that, one was, that wasn't even meant to be his article. That was for later. <laughs> that's for advertising. Isn't that what someone who wanted to make you think it would me would do? Why? Do you want to say that again? <laughs> with the words in the right order? 
<laughs> no, he doesn't. Okay. Uh, uh, and I think I know what you were trying to say. You know what I mean? Because normally there, there are clues here. Like, Chris, you, you would normally have come up with something literary if, or something that, that I know you have expertise in. And I, I don't think, stri- unless you've taken trips to Sri Lanka, that, that... I'm not you, Tom. <laughs> I'll let that one go through. Um, Welcome uh, back. <laughs> I, I genuinely cannot call it between any of these. I'm just going to have to get... I'm going to go with my first instinct. Uh, if it is you, Gary, uh, be, uh, and I think that because the other two are so imaginative. You're a bit stayed, to, oh, be, right. so to be frank. I'm unimaginative. You know, my, no, no, my, my, my logic here is at some point, you were looking through some medieval documents as you do in your job, and you saw Feast of the Ass, and you went, I'm saving that one. That's my theory. <laughs> I have nothing else to go on because all three of these are so good and so imaginative. So I'm going to say... Gary, I believe you, am I right? I f***ing hate you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it is a donkey-based medieval festival. Did you spot it while going through some... No, I was going through a list of Wikipedia articles, saw Feast of the Ass and went, oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> a list, I... list of articles containing the word ass. <laughs> <laughs> I realise we don't have a bonus points mechanism in this, but my word, Matt and Chris, that was some sterling work. Oh, thank that you. Was, that was very, very good. All right. And to think, like, what, we I'm... have 30 seconds yeah. to come up with? No, I, I, I was really impressed with yours. I thought that was a really good angle. Mm. Because it came out the envelope, and it was obviously Gary. It was yeah, always yeah, going yeah, to be Gary. And I know we can easily say that because we know what we wrote, but it was always going to be Gary. But you're, you gave me pause. <laughs> <laughs> and, like... Like, it was obviously Gary, because it was Feast of the Ass, but yours like, oh, oh, I could believe that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was the most Gary <laughs> article you could have picked. We'll be, uh, we'll be back in a moment. I think I'm, I'm going to get a T-shirt made with It's Obviously Gary. <laughs> um, We're not selling anything. No, this is not a sponsored ad. This is, uh, no, it isn't. <laughs> None of it is. No, I'm going to sell myself. Oh, blimey. If you do want to sponsor us... Uh, we're not interested. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you do we're want to. We're not worth it. <laughs> Behind the water pipes, Waterloo Station, unmarked brown envelope. But there will be an entire... <laughs> if you find that, you can stick it back on. There will be an entire new channel to sponsor us on, and that's the important bit of this. Holy cow, that's news! <laughs> <laughs> I will get this announcement down, but kills you. If we do anything else as the technical difficulties, or when in the which, future... Which we might. Can't say it, you can't say it. What? We can say it. I think we should. <laughs> I think we just have. If there's anything from us in 2022 and beyond, it will not be on the Matt and Tom channel. No! Don't look there! It won't be there! Do not do that! There is a new technical difficulties channel. It's linked everywhere around here. The so, old stuff isn't going. You can still watch us. In so HD. If, if you'd like... If you'd like... It, there's, there are links, okay? <laughs> Five envelopes remain. Two of them are Matt's, two of them are Chris's. One of them is Gary's, so it could still be anyone's. I'm going to go for this one here. And our second article today is... Badalisk. Badalisk. Now, this is supposed to be the Christmas special, so presumably Badalisk has something to do with Christmas, but could be a red herring. We don't know. I'll go around uh, the it's table. It's to be the Christmas special. There's hints of it, isn't there? <sighs> I, uh, I wish I'd known. I'm going to go this way around the table this time. Chris, what is a Badalisk? It is not a Badalisk. Oh. It is the Badalisk Tunnel, the longest railway tunnel in Romania. Longest tunnel in in Romania. You know when sometimes someone says a thing on the show and I go, well, that's clearly factually incorrect. You said longest tunnel and I was all ready to go, ah, but I have done the thing about the tunnel. And then, and then you said Romania and I have no knowledge about that, so we'll come back to that in a bit. I should have just put it in Finland. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, Badalisk. An Italian Christmas tradition of a monster. You were clearly acting there, Gary. You were, you were clearly... Trying to put a question mark very subtly <laughs> in all that. But the thing is, I can't tell if that's because you were genuinely making it up and wanting to cover, or that's your other article, and you're just, I, I can't read anything from that. It's almost like that's the game. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, a battleisk. A deer, horse, or in fact, dog drawn vehicle. Dog drawn vehicle. Almost like a sleigh. Oh. Ah, okay. Right, we'll start with Chris then. 
Talk to me about the tunnel in Romania. The Badalisk Tunnel is the longest railway tunnel in Romania, built a lot later than you would expect. You know, we talk about them in England and it's always built in 1860 by a man in a stovepipe hat. Uh, this was built in the early 1960s as a prestige project by the Soviets. Oh, okay. Which means you get your lengths in kilometers at 15.2. Right. And a death toll that doesn't bear mentioning. Right, okay. <laughs> Uh, do we know where it goes from to, or is it just somewhere in the in the rural from, wilds? From from Badalisk, right, to the other side of the mountain. <laughs> okay, <laughs> to the other side of Mount Badalisk. <laughs> I don't know where the train line goes. Oh, it's through the tunnel. Not that good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, tunnel, it goes round. <laughs> rather, you know, what are we doing the tunnel for? We've already got. I mean, it was in the Soviet era. <laughs> yeah, a rather outre tunnel there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it goes up the side of the hill, just slightly under the surface. <laughs> back down again. Yeah, it's, it's like Space Mountain. <laughs> you come out of Badalisk very, very fast. <laughs> All right, the Badalisk Tunnel. Thank you, Chris. Uh, Gary, let's go for the Italian Christmas tradition with a monster in it that had a lot of question marks. Why has the monster got, got question marks, marks in it? And you put them in there. I did not put a question mark in a monster. Take that back. It was a full exclamation mark. If you got tired right halfway up. through, right then... Up. Right up. <laughs> Gary, Italian Christmas tradition with a monster. It's an Italian Christmas tradition with a monster. What mark can I say? Uh, what's the monster? It's got red eyes, it's got horns, it's got goat skin and a big kind of flappy mouth like a Muppet. And it makes a speech outside the village and points out everyone's sins and failings. It gets hit with a stick by um, a, a village elder as a man dressed as a woman, and then they do Christmas. Wow. I mean, I want to go to... What village is this? Oh, I can't remember that. It's the one in the Wicker Man, isn't it? Because <laughs> well, it's one of the northern Italy ones, isn't it? It is, to be fair, yeah. That's where that kind of crazy stuff happens. But yeah, it's a monster that they bring down and capture and all that kind of stuff. And then, yeah, they, they, they do Christmas. It doesn't bring presents or anything. It's not like a present monster. It's not like it like lays gifts or anything like that. <laughs> lays gifts. That's a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a big one. <laughs> Look, it's like all these weird Christmas traditions. It's like, it's like the Spanish it's Kinder one. Kinder eggs. Isn't it? It's like the Spanish one with the log where they hit it with a stick so it sh sweets. Okay, I thought that would land as more of a cultural <laughs> reference. By the, no, the, in, in, in the Do you mean pinatas? No, it's a log with a face. It's got four legs, and then people sing a song. They whack it with a stick. Is this Colin it, the Caterpillar? No, it looks a bit like Colin the Caterpillar. Um, a little bit like Colin the Caterpillar, but it's a log. I cannot stress how much I it's a log. I once made a log with a face, but it didn't have four legs, and then I flushed it away. Was it peeping above the surface like the Loch Ness Monster? Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah. Several humps. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly, it was in black and white, Weird, and quite and a long way away. <laughs> Lot nice monster, just one of Matt's big dumps. <laughs> <laughs> Spanish tradition. Let's let's have a diversion to the Spanish tradition, Gary. Yes, it's a log full of toffee, and the kids hit it with a stick till it <laughs> sweets. Mine right. full of toffee as well. <laughs> All right, Matt, a deer, horse, or dog-drawn sleigh. So that was. Um... It's not just specifically those animals. It's kind of a, a sleigh kind of thing. It is used in Alpine Slovenia. I realise it's not fully in the Alps, but it's, you know... Everyone's eyebrows just furrowed at the phrase Alpine Slovenia there. <laughs> <laughs> I know where he is. I know where he means. I, I do as well. But, uh... It's the top of Italy. Yes. Where, where the Alps almost are. Mm -hmm. They still get a bit of snow. Yeah, OK. Where the Badalisk is. Yep. This goes through the streets as a procession. And it's kind of been become a Christmas thing because the, um, the sleigh thing is kind of the shape of the one that Santa draws because it was designed for hauling goods. Mm. You can get them with wheels on and with... Um, Runners. <laughs> Runners. <laughs> Runners. Um. Runners on them. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Slideys. So the, um, you get like artwork of it where it's deer pulling it, which is why I said deer to make it look like a sensory yep. thing. But obviously, no, you could, when, when do you ever get a deer drawn actual thing? So I'm assuming that was a work of fiction for the kiddies. Actually, you make a valid point. It's not, it's not yeah. occurred to me until just now in my life that reindeer do not generally draw sleighs. Oh, reindeer are all right. It's deer that won't. Thus, thus speaks the man who knows the outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a reindeer once. <laughs> there are kids in the back enjoying the ride and throwing out... Um, it, it kind of looked like confetti. It had a foreign word for it that I can't remember. Confetti? It's probably just confetti. <laughs> Um, it had words on it. I've forgotten what the words were. Close to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, one little bit. It's a confetto. It is. Is it? 
No. I just oh, made that up. No, those, those are the ones with a little bit of... A confetto's one with a little bit of chocolate in the corner. <laughs> oh, yeah, nuts on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Edgar Wright films. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> the thing is that you are probably right. I think I think the singular probably is confetto. Yeah, it probably yeah. is. <laughs> right. Oh, good grief. You all have got a lot better at this. Oh, f*** you. We've had, thank you. <laughs> we've, we've had nobody else to lie to for 18 months. <laughs> yeah. You try lying to your wife when you're <laughs> for 18 months. <laughs> hey? Uh, Chris... I think that I, I like the idea of the thing. I just don't think it'd be under like Badalisk as a, as a title. I think it would be like Badalisk Tunnel, something like that. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna rule you out for the minute. Not gonna put a big cross through it. Just just you just, just temporarily out yeah, the room until yeah. it turns out to be me. Those yeah. big That's crosses those are reserved yeah. for Gary. Yeah. Gary, I think you were you were not double bluffing me with, or you were more like treble bluffing me with the question marks <laughs> in your initial description. I think it's Matt. I think it's the sleigh. Am I right? Alpine Slovenia. Oh. <laughs> the reason I was explaining that so slowly is because I was coming up with it as I was saying. All right, all right. Gary? Ha-ha! <laughs> it was me. <laughs> <laughs> I picked out both your articles out of a pile of six. You did, you did, and no one was more terrified about that than me. <laughs> But I let, thought let those question marks were a bit you, overstated. Wait until I show you a picture of what it looks like. All right, all right. Uh, fair play, Chris. Like, Badless Tunnel was still entirely convincing. It was just... I, uh, it's st- not quite the right naming it's, convention, It's not quite it? right. Uh, Matt, yeah, you absolutely got me with that. that wow, I thought you weren't getting it at all when I was explaining No, I thought it was good. Alpine Slovenia put me off, but I assumed that was you being bad at geography as opposed to being bad at geography. My description was entirely correct. That yeah. is exactly what it looks like. <laughs> In the legend, it lives in the woods around the village and is supposed to annoy the community. <laughs> <laughs> and then it makes a speech in the town square, which is by... Um... Hello! <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then it does a Kermit impression. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so some poor bugger has to come in that costume and get whacked around the head with a stick while he tells everyone what they've done wrong. So that is uh, a point to Matt for fooling me. Uh, you got a point for me correctly guessing yours earlier, Gary. I love the scoring in this. And uh, I, 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 to be fair, do any of us care? No. No. Uh, all we can say is I lost. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Merry Christmas! <laughs> We can't have that as the outro. Why? Because we don't have an outro. Yeah, true. No, yeah. 